Good morning, guys. It's launch day. I am so excited. Um, it's been such a long time to get here, and it's very surreal and really exciting to be able to share this with you finally. So for this video, I asked my Indiegogo contributors, as part of the goal rewards for reaching 100% funded for D.A.R.E., if they would like to ask me any questions about the Foolish Kingdom's duology, about D.A.R.E. or Trick, to send me their questions and I would answer them in a video on launch day. I did get two questions, so I'm really excited about that. So Anonymous asked, can you talk about researching and getting inspiration for the rainforest? So for research, it's really a spectrum of things. How do you make vessels to carry water in? How do you catch fish? How do you sail a boat? What kind of plants and flowers can you use for medicine? A book about the Amazon, taking a trip to the Museum of Natural History in my town and going to their rainforest exhibit. It did give you a great perspective on how dark the rainforest is. There's so little light. To get an idea of the environments that Flair and Jaren suddenly found themselves in. National Geographic documentaries, Pinterest photos. Really, when you watch documentaries on the rainforest and you look at pictures on Pinterest, I saw creatures that I'd never seen before and I had no idea existed. So in one way, it's fantastical, and in another way, it's not. I even watched an episode of Chef's Table where they, where they featured a Brazilian chef who created all his meals in his restaurant from um, the Brazilian rainforest. All these edible sources from plants and flowers, even ants. It really helped me think about how Flair and Jaren could get their food. And amidst all of this, I needed to find a core personality for this island. What was the heart of this island? What was that one defining thing that made it special and unique? What made it a myth? What made it fantastical? And I'm not going to give any spoilers. You'll find out when you read it. Jocelyn asked, can you picture yourself coming back to the world of the Foolish Kingdoms in a series with a different focus? My initial reaction to that is, um, I, I feel like the story is so grounded and so solidly built into this world of um, the theme of the fool. It's just so ingrained in the mindset of all the people who live in spring, summer, autumn, and winter. If I were to explore a different theme, it would almost undo what I've already done. If anything, I probably would... I'd probably write something about nature and its... Um, its relationship to the people, I would probably have the seasons be maybe an antagonist, which is kind of what Dare is. It's, it's the landscape is its own character. So I guess I'm already doing that. <laughs> Another thing that would be interesting is the Foolish Kingdoms in, in the future. What would, what would spring, summer, autumn, and winter be today? and how would it have changed. But like I said, I'm, I'm so happy with the way that these two books came out and the world that I built and the theme around the fools. But it would make interesting fan fiction. So if anybody out there is interested in that idea and wants to go ahead and write some fanfic of it, go right ahead. I've been filming all this time and I didn't realize I should have this on my bookshelf. Better. So. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for the awesome questions. I love talking about writing and storytelling and I'm really excited to hang out with you guys on Tumblr. I will be on Tumblr all day. I do this every time I launch a book. I'm on Tumblr, I'm posting music from Dare's playlist, character inspiration boards, There'll also be a giveaway and I will be around. If you've started reading Dare and you want to tell me what you think so far, I would love to know and I would love some company. If you like something, like it or reblog it, spread the word. It's really you guys who keep my stories above water. I would not be able to do this without you and I appreciate it so, so much. It means the world to me 
um, to have your support and send me ask send me messages I love hearing from people I love talking to you guys so yeah stick around hang out thank you guys for watching this and my book thanks you too so without further ado welcome to the rainforest <laughs>